back in London and in today's video I'm doing a little haul there are a few things I picked up whilst I was in Dubai which I wanted to pack for London which I've obviously brought with me but then there was some stuff that I picked up at the airport I basically went to the airport Chanel not really looking for anything in particular but I found two things which I really like so I ended up buying and because I love you guys so much I asked them to pack them for me with the boxes I lugged this all the way just for the video. That was so sad. Yeah, so I also love the unwrapping process. I don't like just being given dust bags. Obviously, these are two pairs of shoes. Love unboxing. It's just so much fun. We have the off-white. Oh my god, shocking. I know. Look at that insulting heel. Who am I? <laughs> I love these when I saw them. I tried them on. I was like, they are perfect. They go so well with the black and white Chanel jacket that I've got. So I was like, you know what? I'm taking that with me to London anyways. This will go perfectly with that. I have to get these. I recently started to wear my mother's shoes like this. I don't know what the exact style is called, but they're like the classic Chanel heel, small little comfortable heels you can wear during the day and I think they just elevate a very like casual outfit like if you don't want to wear flats or trainers you want to be a little bit more polished and like put together I love these this next pair is not a pair I really loved initially in fact I like them but I was like maybe they're just not for me they never had my size in Dubai so I was very happy to get them at the airport and they are from the Metier collection this will shock some of you. I know it's, these shoes aren't really my style. Chanel doesn't really do sexy heels or shoes in general. They're just like classic. But I'm beginning to find more classics the older I get. Turning 25, I feel like I'm 35. And she'll be dressing more like a mother. I feel like these remind me of like Dorothy shoes. <laughs> look, just bear with me on this, okay guys? I know they look kind of horrific. And this heel, what is that? In fact, let's compare the heel highs. This is... This is not cute. <laughs> Neither is this. But this is not something you wear to the club. This is not something you wear on a night out. This is just something you wear when you're walking around in London or walking around in Dubai and you want like a casual, flirty kind of. My camera just ran out of space and I was going through the files to delete and I realized I actually have so much content from Florence, Monaco. Well, actually not really from Monaco because my camera died and I couldn't be bothered to charge it. And like my holiday and a little bit of Dubai, which I've just not uploaded or edited because I've just not been bothered. But regardless, so I got these. I really love them. I think they're a cute little piece to wear. In fact, I could totally wear them. I think they'd look really cute with this outfit. I'm honestly just wearing like biker shorts and an oversized Chanel jumper and then with a pair of Chanel flats. No, that's just embarrassing. I really like these. I think they're kind of cute and they're just a bit of a vibe. Like with a little shirt dress or like a skirt. Just to kind of make a really boring, simple outfit. A little bit more classy. Why do we use... Why, I don't know why I associate kitten heels and little short mid heels to like a more classy vibe. In the evenings, I want to go full on stiletto. Like higher the heel. Really high heels. I love a good high heel in the evening. I am planning on going to Chanel whilst I'm in London because the Chanel here is very different to the Chanel in Dubai. The selection is much better and you just get cooler shit. I also picked up this little skirt online. This is a Valentino Scort. I love the color. I love that it's actually, it actually looks like a skirt in the front as well as in the back. It's got like a wraparound kind of effect. I absolutely love this. I thought the color was beautiful. I'm definitely trying to get more into color and especially when it comes to like block colors like this, I feel like it's easier to wear with like a white tank top shirt or like an oversized hoodie or like a jumper. Um, but of course, me being me, I love my white tank tops and basics. So I picked up this little piece from Off-White. I don't know why I didn't have it yet, but I actually know. You know what? The price for it is, I was like, the price for it is a bit stupid, I'm not gonna lie. It's just a plain white tank top, which is off on it. It's not worth the price tag. Everyone keeps thinking I'm wearing the same t-shirt every day or the tank top, and I'm, it's really not. I have like about 50 of the same things because if I love something, I'll buy it over and over again. I also picked up this little crop top from a brand called Alex. I love their stuff, the fit's quite good. I also picked up this bodysuit from Alex, which is a lovely 
oatmeal mauve kind of color. I love these when I'm in London. I just love bodysuits and this is a really good stretch and a really good hold to it. So I love this. I then picked up this Dion Lee corset kind of tank top. I think this looks really great with like low waisted, even high waisted jeans and just black trousers. I also wore this with like an all white outfit. I wore these with like high waisted white tailored trousers from the new petite range and a big oversized white blazer. I then picked up another tank top from my favorite brand. This is LNA. This is not like a basic tank top. It's just, I mean, it's got like an extra strap. So it's a little less basic. I don't know. And then I also picked up this other, I don't know what this is. I don't, I honestly have no idea. <laughs> this is um, a top from, again, Alex. I think it's a one, yeah, it is a one shoulder. Is it? I don't know. Does this go under or over? No, I think it goes. I don't know, I'm gonna have to check the model, but this was a cute little piece I also picked up. I will be doing some more shopping whilst I'm here, but for now, that's basically all that I got. So, I went in Selfridges, I wasn't actually looking for anything in particular, but I came across, Ooh. Here we have. Oh, oh, I love them, I really like them. Do you them. like them? I really like them. They're so, oh, they're so bright. Wear them tonight, yeah? <laughs> I'm on FaceTime with my friend. I was like, I need your reaction to these. These are probably, no, they're not the brightest shoe I own. I mean, I don't have orange shoes, so I felt like I needed to add a little bit of orange to my collection. And now these will match my Birkins and hopefully a new Kelly soon. I want an orange Kelly. I love these, I love them so much. Here you go, guys. Do you go <laughs> I always used to film my shoe videos like this. I would say stand on the couch, but I'll leave it will kill you. A few days ago, I went to Harrods and I went to pick up some shoes from Chanel. I am honestly, I'm not loving London shopping. It's not great, but you know what? It is what it is. And they now have this rule where you have to buy only a maximum of four shoes a month and like one bag. I don't know if that works for like people who've got good relationships with SAs here. I personally do not. I've never really built a relationship with an SA here. I just kind of go into any store and just buy whatever until I've really learned the value of having a good relationship with an SA, which was only recently. Today, I'm going to show you guys some of the stuff that I actually picked up from Harrods. And I, do, I actually forgot what I've got because it's been, it's been a bit of time since... I've looked at this stuff. This was a pair of shoes I really wanted. And it's gonna, I, all these shoes are gonna be shocking to you guys. First up, we have the green classic ballet flat from Chanel. It's in this beautiful, like, it's not tweed, but it's kind of like a boucle almost. It's cute, it's a fabric shoe basically. So I'm boxing this now because I'm actually leaving tomorrow. I've not been in London long. This was a really short trip, but I just needed to get out for a bit of time and just be in London on my own, live my life. So these are the new shoes. I love these. They're great. Next, let's do another shopping pair. This is another pair which I picked up. A lot of you guys are going to be honestly really shocked because I'm shocking myself these days with my fashion choices. I'm like, I would not be this girl five years ago. In fact, two years ago, this this isn't who I who I was, but maybe it's who I am. I don't know. We all change, we all grow, we develop. I got them in purple, but I got the healed version. I'm really loving these. Like ever since I tried on my mum's nude pair, I was like, I am really loving these. Like they're like the perfect classic shoe to just add to like a very simple, boring outfit without being casual and without being too overdressed. Sometimes I need a small Am I just saying this? Sometimes I need a small heel in my life. Yeah, I'm I'm getting old, guys. I'm buying kitten heels. Honestly, I'm actually sad with myself, but I feel like these are just a little bit vibey because they're a bright color. I look forward to wearing them. I picked these all up in size 36, although my sneaker size in Chanel is 35 and a half. I am very excited to wear these. If they had the pink version, I would have picked up the pink, but unfortunately they didn't. So, so far I have green, I have purple, I've got the bright gold ones that I got, I've got the white boucle kind of tweed ones. This pair. Yeah. <laughs> it's the classic nude beige Chanel heels with the small heel. So, exactly the same as these. Exactly the same as the ones I own already in Dubai. Well, technically those are my mum's, even though we share. These are the exact same. They don't have them in Dubai. Actually, they don't have any of these shoes in Dubai. I know a lot of you thinking like, why would you buy Chanel shoes that you can get in Dubai? I can't actually find any of these shoes in Dubai, which is unfortunate. 
I think they have a lot of stock because London was in lockdown for a lot longer, so they've probably got a lot more stock of stuff that didn't sell. I don't really know, but I'm very excited to wear these. They just look really cute with a pair of jeans or like an oversized shirt. That's just honestly my vibe. Or even like leggings or like more cycling shorts and an oversized t-shirt. These are actually quite cool. They don't have to be worn in like a formal way, like classic boring Chanel kind of way. I feel like these can be kind of like spruced up with like an edgy outfit, like ripped jeans. So edgy. Yeah, so <laughs> that's who I'm becoming, guys. That's that's me, apparently. I don't know what's happening to me. That's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.